Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to make for you today some crumbed, snitchelled paradise duck breasts. Delicious and a really good way to prepare your paradise duck breasts because they can be quite gamey. So, first of all, you need a duck or two. She's all go, bro. She's all go. <laughs> She's all go. <laughs> Oh, he's been practicing, eh? Hey? <laughs> yes, he, we get, both get better every year. Every year. All, all you couch hey. experts out there that think you can duck call better than us, we challenge it you on. to a duck calling competition. Bring it on, baby. Yes. Wood, wood calls seem to be the best. I've got an bucks. acrylic one, a CW cut the wing call acrylic, we'll see. How much yours cost? I um, can't remember. Mine cost 90. What? 90, 90 bucks? bucks yeah. Work. <laughs> I've actually got heaps, I could have just given you one. Oh shit, now you take it. I'm gonna go, we are driving now, oh. stop talking, it's getting late. We're moving on. Green, quarter to seven. How's your morning going, Dan? Oh, bloody great. All oh. things considered? I have to tell you, had a couple of really good shots. So one, one in particular that we're, Josh was standing over there and I was over here. And there's two ducks and we both shot at once and two ducks straight down. We'll have to, uh, I reckon it was one each. Josh might have different ideas on that one. <laughs> When we first started shooting, Dan didn't even have a bullet in and he went click and the duck fell out of the sky and he tried to claim it. Oh, I got one, I said your gun didn't even go off, it missed one. <laughs> I couldn't claim that one. Yeah, and, and he's like, oh yeah, true. And then I had a, a shot, two coming in, I shot one shot and two ducks fell down. I think I got that on film actually, I think those are the only ducks I've got on film, apart That's from this one-handed one I tried to get. It's no. bloody hard to oh, hold the camera and shoot. They're quite a distance apart too, I don't know how I got the second one. Yeah, it's <laughs> random, eh, what the heck. <laughs> What happened there? Over one, one eye and I'm trying to shoot. That wasn't looking good. Is that why you missed? Because your hat was all cockeyed. Yeah, it was like this. Your hat was like that. And you couldn't see? I just, I could sort of see it down in one eye. So pretty easy to breast these parries. Just gonna flick it around. You just cut a slit down the breasts and then open them up with your hands. And you can just peel the skin back and the feathers back off the breasts, like so. Exposing the two breasts. Probably should have just put a skinny slit there. And then simply a slit down either side of the breastbone and then just work the fillet off and you just follow the rib cage around and remove the breasts pretty easy one breast there and let's take the other breast off there super easy follow the breastbone and the wishbone around and then Take that off like so, and then we've got two breasts, put the feathers on, pull the feathers off. That's pretty simple. Got two nice parry breasts there, and we're gonna smash them flat. I like to give it a bit of a pounding before I cook it. You don't have to, you can just slice it up. I like to pound it first, makes it a bit more tender, and then slice it into thin strips. Make a marinade, simple marinade. Today I'm going to be using these simple ingredients. Ginger, coriander, brown sugar, garlic, and soy sauce with a splash of sesame oil to give it an Asian flavor. Like a bit of Asian flavor with my duck. Then chuck it in the fridge for a couple of hours. And then it's a simple matter of a bit of flour, beating an egg, some breadcrumbs, dip the breasts, the marinated breasts, the strips, breast strips into the flour first, then into the egg, then roll around in the breadcrumbs and then fry it, shallow fry it in a pan. 
You can bake it as well if you don't want to fry it. You can bake them like they are. Probably a healthy way to do it. You can even use one of those fancy new air cookers, which I don't have, but I might get an air cooker, air frying. It's a healthy choice. Anyway, I'm gonna cook these up and then slap them on the table in front of the kids and see what they think. Cheers. I don't even bother peeling my garlic, I used to. Now I just chop it up, chuck it in husks and everything. I honestly don't notice the difference when it's cooked. Chop that really finely. And to crush the garlic, we're just going to put a bit of pink Himalayan rock salt on there. And then using the flat of the knife, or the flat of the blade, just crush it like so. If you've got a garlic crusher, use that. I don't have a garlic crusher, I just use the knife. Crush it all up. Chop it a bit finer. Easy. Chuck that in the bowl. A little bit of ginger. Let's see what else should we put now? Let's try some coriander, shall we? A bit of soy sauce. A little bit of sesame oil. Just a touch of brown sugar as well. Chuck that in there. Mix it all up. Pop that in the fridge and let it marinate for a couple of hours and then it's a simple matter of beating an egg, a bit of flour, dip it in the flour, dip it in the egg, dip it in the breadcrumbs, fry it up. You can do it medium rare. I prefer to cook it so it's cooked. It can be quite gamey, this paradise duck, and by marinating it, and a simple marinade of your choice, it takes that gaminess away and makes it really good. The kids don't even know what they're eating. It's just tasty, crunchy bits of meat as far as they're concerned. Great way to prepare your paradise duck breasts. What do you think? Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's good. Is it really good? It's like the best thing I've ever had. What sort of meat do you think that is? Um, chicken? No. Okay, I know. <laughs> what is it? It's tuna, isn't it? No. Oh. Did you think that was bluefin tuna? No, I just saw that on the bench. I thought you were going to trick me. She thought it was bluefin tuna. That's how good it is. It's... I know. No, I know exactly what it is. What is it? Texas duck. Oh, paradise duck. Yeah. It's good, eh? Yeah, great. <laughs> it's really good. I'm, she just it, hates I'm duck. Just not a du I just don't taste the duck. I'm she just hates duck. It's delicious. We'll see what the kids think. Well, the kids are going to love it because it's good. It's just a duck. Ducky. It tastes ducky. Wow. You know, duck. Have a little taste. Tell me what you think. Hello. Right. Yep, pretty good. <laughs> you just walked that down, what do you reckon? Yum. It's good, eh? It's hot. Mmm. It's bloody delicious. Hey, mate. <laughs>